Hey guys, welcome to Gortober Day 10, and the prompt today is Gunshot. So, for this one, I am drawing a human skull, and my idea was to try to get as anatomically correct as I could, but also add in a little spook factor. So, you will see me doing a lot of refining and sketching with this one. It took a lot to get the look I wanted, but also I, re I was really trying to make it look as realistic as I could without. I wanted it to look as close to realistic as I could, but also with the way I draw, it's not going to be very realistic. So I wanted to add in my, what I'm going to call the creep factor, which would be the sharp teeth. At first I was just going to have the, the teeth on the, well the canines be sharp. And I know that people don't have that many teeth in the front of their mouth, but I just put in teeth. So with this one, um... I definitely went a little overboard, I would say, with it, but I wish I wish I was doing this one digitally because then I could have made it the picture itself bigger or the canvas smaller. I do go in and change the top teeth, making them all sharp. That way they match the bottom one after I edit everything a little bit more. I constantly wanted everything to try to look at least a little bit normal. So for gunshot itself, I put holes in the skull to show that the person who owned this head probably got attacked by something. It took a little bit to figure out how I wanted the cracks and stuff to look, but I got to it eventually. I took my micron, but then I realized, wait, I, I forgot to erase the lines. So I do take my needed eraser and erase eventually once I remember, but you know. Because it's a lot easier to line stuff, and it's a lot easier to see what you're lining whenever you erase first. But when I was doing this, I was like, wait a minute, I completely forgot. I did use my Micron to darken certain spots with hatching. Yep, here I am erasing because I remembered. But by the time I erased it, it didn't really matter. The parts that I used hatching on were, would be very deep, but then I also took my smallest micron to add in hatching in, in higher raised areas, but also where I would want there to be extra shading. You were absolutely Using my pencil, I added in lighter shading, and I will take a blending stick to add in other shading just to make it softer. My blending stick was actually ripping the paper this time and it kind of got irritating honestly but I, I you kind of gotta learn from your mistakes and just move past them I take my eraser and I pick up the lead that doesn't need to be on there get in small spots with a small a bit I mean small amount of needable eraser so for the red ink I decided that I wanted to make it look like maybe the blood just kind of stained the skull a little bit I 
I use water and ink for my stuff. I take the ink and after wetting the paper, I just let it spread out. That way it looks more natural. Thinking that I could use more, I take my paintbrush and the ink and make it look like the blood kind of is a shadow mate almost just to make it a little more appealing i do want to say before the video ends that i for friday's video i am going to be doing a mixture of three prompts since i won't be available to post a saturday or sunday video i'm going to be out of town and also out of my state so it's just going to be easier for me to put all three prompts into one that way i can post it on friday before i leave so i hope that's okay with you guys well see ya